how to start the college level research process. At the end of this tutorial, you'll understand some of the differences between searching Google and searching library databases and understand how to access and begin using library databases. Many of us start our research with Google. In this case, I'm looking for legalizing marijuana and one thing that is suggested is a synonym of legalization instead of legalizing. The important thing about what you choose to use from the web is that it's appropriate for college level research. One of the tools that's often overlooked is under the gear, advanced search. It's worth your time to familiarize yourself with the tools here. For example, when was the page last updated? Was it in the past year? You can look for words in an exact word order. And you can look for words that appear in the, the title or the um, text of the page. So those are just two of the tips that are on the advanced search page. Well worth exploring since we all use Google so much. So from the library's homepage, where do you start looking for articles? There's many ways to approach it. For undergraduates, a good beginning place is the article search tab. I'm going to use that same phrase that I used in the Google search, legalizing marijuana, and you can see I got far fewer hits, but 360 is still a lot of articles. So I'm going to use some of the tools on the left to limit my results. I'm going to just have full text articles, and my professor has said that I can only use scholarly or peer-reviewed articles. You can see that has limited our results to a manageable amount, 25. I could go on with uh, ways to limit by date and other tools, but for right now, I'm just going to look at one of these articles. One thing that library databases have that the internet does not have is they are indexed by humans, so they have subject terms, which can be very powerful. I could go on about search strategy, but for now, I'm going to return to the library's homepage and talk about the Articles and Databases page for just a moment. The databases are arranged by name, so say you were looking for JSTOR, you would look under the J's. They're also arranged by type, so you, maybe you just need newspapers. General databases are a good place to start almost any research topic or for background information. The same with encyclopedias and dictionaries. Here, databases are arranged by discipline and are very specific. So if you're an education major or you're writing about education, you would want to use these databases. Or if you're use, writing about the history of Appalachia, you would use the Appalachian Studies databases. These would be appropriate. As an overview, Google is very forgiving. You can misspell or just dump in a search phrase like reasons marijuana should be legal and you'll get results, but you'll get better results if you learn to use some of the advanced search tools. Library databases give better results using keywords and narrowing with the tools provided, including subject headings. Databases can be specialized in an area like education or chemistry and offer sophisticated tools to help limit your results. Where do you begin? Remember that research is a process. Give yourself time. Developing your search strategy is important. Library databases often contain information that is not freely available on the internet. Google and library databases are different types of tools. Think about using the right tools. You should now understand some differences between searching Google and searching library databases and understand how to access and begin using library databases.